Obviously, appropriate use of personal protective equipment at least acts as a last line of defense should an accident occur. There are, of course, many other hazards associated with the use of gases in the workplace. Details from material safety data sheets and safe work procedures should be followed when dealing with any gas, and any problems or uncertainties should be discussed with the manufacturer or appropriately qualified person. It is crucial that the gas in a cylinder is correctly identified prior to use. Sometimes cylinders themselves are colored as a guide to their contents, but the label is always the primary means of identification of the contents of a cylinder. Always read the label. Do not assume a cylinder contains a particular gas without confirming the name on the cylinder. Gas cylinder labels may include the name and contact details of the manufacturer, the name and grade of the gas contained in the cylinder, the UN number, which is sometimes called the SI number, other relevant numbers and codes of classification, detail indicating the size of the cylinder and fill pressure, some general information about the properties of the gas contained in the cylinder, and emergency contact information. If the label is illegible, damaged, or missing, do not use the cylinder and have it returned to the supplier. Information on things such as storage, handling, transport, personal protective equipment requirements, and incident response may not be on a cylinder and should be obtained from material safety data sheets. Finally, never repaint a cylinder change its marking, or alter its label in any way.